without yet to make a name. In Nigeria, we struggle as creatives. And this is time to give your voice to the world, boy. Every day you come out here to direct on that shit, boy. Nobody will give you a platform like this. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome once again to this channel. It's a girl, Clara Edith. Consider subscribing if you want to see me regularly. So yesterday, I spoke about many things that has to do with the housemaid, the cookies, the things and that. So today, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things here. So you got to listen, watch the end. So good news is that, let me start with that. Ganaga is back to the house. Yesterday, he went for treatment. He fell inside pool and one of the fingers, a bit, this thing got broken. So he went for treatment and he has returned back to Big Brother's house yeah i'm so happy so when he walked into the house he came in with motivational words housemates were so surprised like can you imagine and if you really want to check his uh, speech a lot of people have auditioned for five times example yemi and he was trying to encourage people the housemate to work hard to work hard to entertain people because it's not easy to be in big brother's house you understand and if you are opportune to be there you have to do the needful sell yourself sell your talents because most people most of the bb niger housemates who are not famous today is because they never had talents fans at least let people know what you are capable of doing showcase your talent because that alone would make you to be relevant in the industry everything shouldn't be influencing influencing you understand you have to come up with your own talent so that people fans would respect you just like fina fina now she has diverted his own this thing to acting like you need to see fina's youtube now honestly speaking and she's making money from there she has opened her ushering agency like she's doing many things so people were so sober people were so sad a lot of people were not able to even look up you know they were they were thinking of many things so but the guy was so honest because you have to be relevant to <laughs> that's not that so moving on to another gist this one gets to do with yemi and Gihosi. When I'm calling that name, I don't know how to pronounce that name. People are, you guys are dragging me. Some people will be like, don't pronounce like this, pronounce like this. Please, make una leave me, oh. You understand? Let me pronounce the way I sabi. Kihosi. <laughs> when I say kosi, kosi, they say it's not kosi. When I say uh, kosi, they say a uh, I beg. Anyhow, I call that endure. Anyhow, I'm pronouncing names, endure. <laughs> <laughs> Make una pardon you. <laughs> I don't try my best. They think no fit entire way. I go see they try. So uh, after the cookies sharing, Valentine cookie sharing to housemate, I noticed Kihosi gave Tamba before Yemi. I mean, I'm talking about our cookies. So hmm, last night. All of them know Yemi and um, Kiosi, they normally sleep together, same uh, hair. So, exactly what Yemi used to do to her, leaving by 4 o'clock to go and see Blue, exact thing she did yesterday. She. This was when Kihosi left Taban's bed by that time and coming back, removing her slippers, holding it on her hands, walking like a cat just to <laughs> go back to meet Yemi on the bed. And Yemi was so shocked. He was like, where is this lady coming from by this time? <laughs> Drama. <laughs> left Yemi around what time? Is it 3 o'clock? I didn't check time to go and meet Tabang and she was even forcing that guy to kiss her <laughs> oh she 
she was forcing Taban to kiss her last night. After she might have done with that, she now moved down to her bed. Like, guys, that is not done. And that thing cracked Yemi's brain. Like, Yemi stood up to see where she came from to confirm if she's the one. Thank God for the guy. That guy is very gentle. Taban guy. Like, he is so gentle. He does not play with saliva. Like, you don't kiss this person and this one and you expect him to kiss him. But no. That nigga no go do him. So, that guy restricted her from kissing him. But she was forming like this and that. But I don't know why all of them are dying put to get the guy. Yo. We're a uh, taban day. Go see now, mama. <laughs> Babe, she's dying put to get the guy. Anyways, it's fine. My dear, <laughs> that problem, Yemi did not get that funny, but then, hmm, I noticed two of them and they're trying to play games. It's fine. My dear sister, this afternoon, maybe Kiyosi was doing that to Leo, Yemi, or to make Yemi to be jealous, but that nigga has mine. I'm talking about Yemi. He was not moved. Hmm? It was still this girl that went and met Yemi and she was like, I'm giving you five hours to choose me or blue or you stop talking to me. See, it doesn't mean that I have to pick between blue and be friends with blue. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's wickedness. Yeah. Tell me five hours, yeah. no choker. Either you choose me or you stop talking to me and I am giving you five hours to make your choice. <laughs> Yemi was like, you don't know the kind of person I am. You are a joker. Like, can you imagine? You don't know the kind of person I am. You are wicked. That is wickedness. Ha! <laughs> wahala, wahala. No be mama tao. Nigga, Yemi said you are a joker. Like, how? Don't even say that. Like, I'm not getting you. After you went and kissed or forced, that's not the first time she has done this, like, dragging the guy to kiss her. Like, so you want to come and, you want to come and tell me what to do. Don't tell me you're joking. My dear. Hey. I said, no, it's not matter. And Blue too, he is standing the other side, razzling black boy <laughs> asking black boy to tell her what he wants from her like let him be specific let my dear no be smart <laughs> no be smart and at the end of it like, black boy was like I need a kiss from you like just kiss my forehead for me just give me a kiss on my forehead blue cuckoo blue stood up and gave him a kiss on his forehead my dear <coughs> drama did this house so wahala did this house so hey nobody can even predict this game people that was dragging yemi that yemi is doing a lot in <laughs> In Big Brother's house, now your favorite Kyosi is trying to do the same. But people now are judging Kyosi because she came with ideology of I have a nigger out here, out there, so I do not want anything serious with Yemi inside the house. If you have a nigger that you spent four years with, which I also I have watched Kyosi TikTok talking about boyfriend surprising her boyfriend doing this for her boyfriend and all of that and you're still hunting around guys in the house like i'm not getting it even when she had conversation with yanaga this afternoon when the guy returned yanaga is very strict would i cut off Taban? i would if he cuts off blue and he has made that clear that he's not yanaga is very strict he was saying, see, you are opposite of Yemi. You understand that two of them fit each other. Are you getting it? And Ganaga too was asking her, this thing you're doing, what would happen to your boyfriend out there? She says she's not even interested with a relationship again out there. 
that she's not very sure that this thing will work out my dear which one am i going to believe it's not good to twist words you understand like we nigerians we detest lies and you have to be straightforward in dealings not tomorrow you're saying different thing today you're dancing to another tune which one are we going to believe you have a boyfriend at the same time you don't want anything outside with the guy again you don't even intend having kid or married with the guy which one are we going to believe QC allow us to have peace of mind with lies now and i like yemi yemi's own is yes is yes no is no yemi never told us he had girlfriend or is married you understand but him doing all these things is doing is because he is who he is and he has told us openly that that's flirting flirting is one of his hobby we cannot change him from who he is which rights we have not we do not have rights to do that so i don't know plenty matter the ground though honestly speaking right this year big brother is very interesting we are dancing to this tune we are coming back to this one we are falling back to that it's quite interesting well we go to watch them now be at the live <laughs> oh so guys you need to subscribe oh, turn on bell so you can be seeing all this drama where they go on in biggie's house <laughs> because now me and you gonna watch them <laughs> so bye bye <laughs>